Should families be concerned? Helping us break down the news tonight is Dr. Michael Hodgman, a medical toxicologist for the Upstate New York Poison Center. And doctor, uh, thanks for joining us, taking the time tonight. Should families even hesitate if they're about to put a little bit of rice on the table for dinner? Uh, thank you. Uh, no, I don't think so. I, um, um, I think this um, report has generated a bit more alarm than it should. Um, these numbers are still relatively low numbers, and I think if you know we remember you know the word moderation and everything, I don't think there's anything that would um, get me overly concerned uh, with this report. Um, I think we have to remember that uh, arsenic is a very common uh, component of uh, the earth, and it's ubiquitous in our environment, and um, most of us are exposed to very small amounts of it. And, you know, the big health hazards with it, uh, even with uh, chronic exposures, uh, uh, have been uh, associated with uh, much higher exposures than this over long periods of time. Dr. Hodgman, um, obviously I would imagine parents who feed their babies rice cereal might be a little bit more concerned. You know, people who have infants are always worried about any detectable amount of arsenic or anything that, that might harm their child. What's your message to those parents tonight? Well, I, I think that, um, you, know, you know, there is some unknown here, although, again, these numbers are very, very small. And, you know, I think if a parent was concerned, they might want to limit, you know, servings of something like this to no more than, you know, one or perhaps a couple a day. But um, I think, you know, even when I say that, I'm being very, very conservative. Uh, as I said, you know, the, the amount that was in most of these foods that was reported, if you had a normal daily portion of one of those, uh, the amount of arsenic would be less than, you know, even the permissible limit in, a, you know, a, a liter of water or a couple liters of water. Uh, and so, um, you know, again, I, I just, uh, I think it's something for the FDA, you know, there's, there's um, uh, you know, manufacturers would like limits on this so that uh, they have some guideline to follow. But, you know, again, I think that uh, the numbers here are, are just... Uh, not that big that we need to get overly concerned at this point. And do you find yourself just cringing a little bit when the next study comes out about something like this? Uh, does it concern you that, that all the attention on any given day uh, across all types of media is, is put on this type of health issue when, when, as you're saying, the hazard is not that great? Well, it, this, this feels like um, apple juice all over again from last, uh, last winter. Uh, where again, I think that was really, uh, um, it got a lot more attention than it deserved. And, and, and again, the, you know, the risks there were, were quite trivial, I think. All right, Dr. Michael Hodgman from the Upstate New York Poison Center, thanks for being with us tonight. Thank you, doctor.